now it's time, everybody, for Lost and Found. Verity. Tissues out, please. Really? Little bassinet, virtually a newborn baby, clean nappies, a bottle of milk and a little note tucked into Julie Senior's uh, little um, matinee jacket, pleading for this baby to be taken care of. And it's a heartbreaker, but a heart lifter. Tissues out, please. Where we go. For Julie Senior, Sydney's busy pit street is the scene of a 50-year-long mystery. I think it's very important for everyone to know who their family is. Um, I really want to be able to see who I look like. Where luxury apartments now stand, back in 1956, Julie was abandoned as a three-week-old baby in the bathroom of what was then the People's Palace, a Salvation Army hostel. I can't imagine, you know, what, what was in her life to bring her to such a, a, a decision to do what she did, but obviously whatever it was that made her do that was, was stronger than the connection that a mother has with a child. Newspaper reports tell the tragic story of an abandoned baby. I had a note pinned to my cardigan that said, the next feed for this baby is at 7 p.m. It wasn't a matter of being neglected. She must have abandoned me out of something so serious and that she st was still trying to care for me even though she left me behind. Julie was 19 when her parents told her she was adopted and from then she began to wonder just who were her biological family. At the time that they told me about the abandonment, I really felt like it was surreal, like they were talking about someone completely different, that it, it took me a long time to connect with the fact that that was really me. And even now, it's, it's still quite surreal. I, I have difficulty sometimes connecting with that vision of a baby being abandoned and who I am today. It's, it's difficult. Wanting to know more about her mother and any siblings, Julie started her search by leaving a message on an internet reunion site. Six years later, and finally, there was a reply. Out of the blue, in uh, June last year, I got an email from a lady who said she believed I was her half-sister and that I had a half-brother as well. And I sort of thought, wow, that... I can't begin to tell you how I felt at that particular time. It was just just so unexpected. Gary and Kim had also been abandoned by their mother as very young children, and they both had a very difficult start in life. She kept Gary for a year and a half. He was very sick as a baby, and then she got pregnant with me. That was it, born me gone, pretty much out the door within 12 weeks. Then we right went then. to the orphanage, to the nuns' house. It wasn't an orphanage, it was just run by nuns. I never thought there'd be someone before us. Always thought there'd be someone after us. Yeah. So... The initial contact with Julie and the chance to have all three of them together has proved to be a powerful connection as they hope to find out more about their mother. OK. I can't wait. <laughs> it's going to be great. <laughs> I don't know, it's been a long ride. <laughs> Although Julie had been able to meet up with her half-brother Gary in Queensland, their plans to have Kim present as well fell through as she wasn't able to make it up from Melbourne. So this is when Julie turned to Can We Help. We organised for Gary and Kim to meet Julie at her house in Sydney. I'm nervous, I'm excited, I'm... Um... I can't believe after waiting all these years for this to happen that would the three of us are going to be together. Just settle, it's all right. Don't worry, she'll be just as nervous as you are, darling. There we go. Hey! Hello. 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 Okay. 
Come on, come on in. A family together after so long. The bond between the three can only grow stronger, as does their need to know more about what happened to their mother. To have my own flesh and blood, I, I can't tell you what that means. It's wonderful. I feel very blessed for this today because it's really been a long time coming. <laughs> I'm still looking for mum and although I don't want to cause her any stress or, or problems because she, she may have another life now, if I could just have a photo to see what she looks like, um, I'd be forever grateful for that. Oh, some great outcomes there, Verity. There are, and Julie feels as though some of the pieces to the puzzle have been put into making it or more complete. To be able to find a half-brother and half-sister is fantastic. She really, though, would love to emphasise that if her mother is out there, she'd love to get a hold of her, as would uh, Gary and Kim, and find out more about that. But uh, certainly, her life, according to Julie, feels so much more enriched.